Hey guys, Jay McSees here, and I want to walk you through in a quick tutorial on how to uh, run restocks for Shopify drops. I want to hit on three different uh, things specifically during uh, this tutorial. I want to talk about variants, what's their purpose, and how to find them. Uh, second, I want to hit on uh, the idea of creating a task with a variant, talk about a couple different bots and how to do that. And then finally, we'll talk about how to avoid rate limits, which is essential in order to cop on restocks for Shopify. Okay, so a couple different places where you can find variants really quick. If you come to the Shopify channels, uh, you can see this Shopify filtered variant channel. Uh, this is a great place to find them. This is going to offer you essentially live updates on variants as products come in. It kind of works with our Shopify filtered channel, and as a product drops, you can come right here and grab variants pretty much immediately. Another place to go is our early links channel. Jordan 13 Flints just dropped, so here are a you know bunch of different variants that we have for from that drop. So I'll go over here back to our uh, filtered variant channel, and let's say you want to run. For the coral mids here, just grab this um, guy. And then you're going to come create a task. I'm going to primarily show you how to do this on Balco. Uh, so this site is the Closet Inc. Um, now there's no preset for this site in Balco, so I'm just going to go custom Shopify and then let me copy and paste the name of the site, throw the URL right here, Oops. And then choose my proxy pool, turn restock mode on. For Balco that's necessary to turn it on. Some bots you don't need to actually turn on that tab. You just actually will start running and then uh, once the bot realizes that the product's out of, t out of stock, it'll automatically turn into restock mode, which is how PD works at the moment. I think they're going to maybe change that and go to a manual uh, restock mode where you have to manually turn it on. But for now, let me just run with Balco and show you how this works. So I, I use this mass variant option here. This way you can create multiple tasks at once. So oops, let me go back and grab that variant really quick. Um, so if I'm going to run for a 6Y, go here, drop in my variant. Um, the, the nice thing here is I can create, you know, a bunch of different tasks all at once. Just to point this out, you're actually only taking the code, the, the variant code. You don't need the size here. So that's how I want to run for these three um, add variant depending on your site that's going to dictate whether or not you use regular mode or safe mode you know for kith or something like that where they have bot protection up you're going to run safe but for this site if bot protection isn't up you can just go to regular mode you can actually tell whether or not bot protection is up by going to our channel oh man i'm lost right here anti antibot or the antibot channel it's going to tell you whether checkpoint is enabled or disabled so checkpoint is not enabled for um, this site here so we wouldn't we would just basically run regular mode um, if it's enabled then you're probably going to be running safe mode that's general rule of thumb uh, when it comes to inserting a size on balco you do not need to do that um, with pd however um, if you're creating a task for a Shopify variants, you're actually going to want to match your your variant with your size. So it just kind of depends on your bot. So you can check with your bot Discord and they'll give you info on that. Read a guide on your bot Discord and they'll kind of explain that for you most likely. So you can run regular mode. If you have rates available, I don't have any rates available for this site, but rates will speed up your product. Again, it's all about speed. So your variants are the fastest way to go. Um, throw on rates, that's going to be even, it's going to help you increase speed, which is important for running restocks. Now, as I create a task, you'll see it's going to create one for each of these separate variants that I entered in. If I want to create 
you know, a bunch of tasks all at once. As you can see, it just created three for each of the different tasks I had, um, or each of the variants that I created. So it's just kind of multiply it. Um, now, okay, so that's how you create tasks. That's how you use variants. I want to now talk about rate limits. So a rate limit is something that Shopify utilizes in order to prevent a specific profile from hitting a site like multiple times in a row. It's kind of a form of bot protection. Here's an article. I'll throw this link down below, but this kind of breaks it down how rate limits work. Um, essentially, if I were to boil all this information down for you, try not to run restocks at like lower than 4,000, 3,600, maybe at the lowest. I, I wouldn't go much lower than that um, because you run the risk of getting rate limited pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't happen immediately. So if I ran like a thousand delay, I wouldn't get rate limited like immediately, but pretty soon within a few minutes, I'm going to have all my tasks rate limited, which will basically mean all my tasks are dead in the water. So how do rate limits work? So it's related to delay. Like you don't want to low delay because every, every time this profile hits a site, you know, uh, when it's hitting the site multiple times within a short period of time, that's what's going to get me rate limited. So Delay has to do with it, but another key component here is how many times your tasks are running under the same profile. So if you're running, you know, six tasks here all under the same profile, well, you're going to get rate limited pretty quickly because even if you're running at a 5,500 delay, well, now you're running at a 5,500 delay with six different tasks. So you're you're literally hitting the the site less than you know you know once every second essentially, even less than that. So you're going to have to. Uh, make all of your profiles unique. Um, so let me edit this so that I am running unique profiles. So on Valco, you can just filter out your Shopify profiles, select all, edit. Now, all of my tasks are unique, unique profiles. Now, if you don't have many profiles and you don't have op the option of like creating prof uh, privacy profiles or whatever for some reason, um, or if you have a limit on your privacy account, you can only create so many. Then what you can do in order to avoid rate limits is actually just duplicate the tasks, all of these tasks, under a different proxy pool. This is actually something that's unique that um, just doing testings, I, I, I realize this, is that um, when Shopify is monitoring for rate limits, they can't pick up when a specific profile is hitting under a different, like a totally different proxy. So here's what I mean. Let me let me show you how to do this on Valco. You just hit this little button here and you can duplicate that whole group of tasks to and you know, depending on how many proxies you have, you can just keep duplicating and um, run those profiles again, but just run them under a different proxy pool. And that will actually eliminate the whole issue of getting rate limited, which is really nice. So depending on your proxies, um, you know, certain proxies, so like Hollow here, they have different pools that you can draw from. And so if, if I wanted to avoid rate limits, I can actually just draw from different pools from Hollow. So if I'm using Premium and then Prime and... Uh, I can kind of mix it up so that I, I'm not getting rate limited. Um, same with like if you can use, you know, if you have Oculus, you can use Oculus and then on for your your AIOs or whatever, and then you can do one with uh, space, right? And and that way there the proxy quality is it's different enough that the Shopify is not going to pick it up that your profiles are hitting that site multiple times in a row. Um, so now that I have unique profiles and I'm, I've got like a hundred different tasks essentially within a couple of minutes um, and they're not going to be rate limited. Now I can start all of my tasks and I can just hopefully cop. Um, I've found this to be really effective kind of route um, in order to hit on Shopify restocks and hopefully you do too. If you have any questions, feel free to, to, you know, shoot, shoot me um, a message in, in the discord, just, uh, tag me uh, in a support channel or whatever, and I can try to answer any questions you might have. All right. Hopefully this was helpful, and hopefully it uh, increases your chances of copying. Have a good one, guys.